Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to give amazing fire effect in Photoshop or you can also say that how can provide amazing fire look in your bike wheels. So let's begin our tutorial. First we are going to take a new document. So first we are going to just click on file and select new and tick 3840 into 2160 pixel and make feather edition 0 sorry make resolution 300 then press create button so your document is created now we are going to select the image so this is this is our model image and we are going to select this one by using pen tool so uh, just zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus and start selection so friend this one is the very boring part so i'm going to make my video a little bit faster So your selection process is already completed now we are going to select this one and just drag and drop this one in our new document so this is our new document first we are going to add some more images for example we just arrange our background so we first take this road image and this time I am going with this time I select this one by using quick selection tool so simply select this one so this one is selected and just drag and drop this one so this one is perfectly placed okay so this one is perfectly placed and now we are going to add a sky image so this one is the sky image and we just select this one or we just cut out the sky image okay so this one is almost done and click on adjustment layer select curves and we make this one little bit darker okay and the other things we just take a blank layer go to brush just right click and add clipping mask make color this one a little bit blue and zoom your brush now we just add our motorcycle image or this model image and just simply place it in perfect area I think this one is perfect place for my work okay so this one is perfect uh, placed but it does not provide original look so we just provide this one as realistic look so what we have to do we just add some shadow so take a new blank layer go to brush and make opacity 100% and simply make color this one black and apply this brush Here it is and make the, again duplicate this one and place it in that portion so uh, now we can see bike is look original and again go to adjustment layer take curves and adjust the curve okay blank layer put adjustment layer and then a dodge just solid color and select the color 
sorry first we are going to do clipping mask and then select the color Next. now we just add solid color i think this one is look perfect okay click on mask layer and go to paint bucket tool make foreground color black and apply it our next work we just add some cool fire effect so what you have to do we just take a paint tool and in that portion we take a blank layer and we just zoom our image by using this tool and apply this one so first Here we go. Then go to and make selection. Then press OK. And go to solid color. <coughs> selection inverse and go to solid color and take yellow so this one is done and just to look at this one hide the layer and go to blending mode and select overlay again duplicate this one and one more time so you can see that it's provide amazing red look go to transform sorry the warp is not work so we just March all layer and just overlay okay then duplicate again and again duplicate and the next work is we are going to add some fire effect so what we have to do we just take some fire images so this is our first flame image or fire image we just take this one and simply go to blending mode and select the screen then press and just adjust the size of this area First, this one is look great and just play the mask layer, go to brush and erase, erase the extra lines. Again duplicate this one and simply drag this one in that portion. Go to edit, transform and select warp and adjust it.
yeah now it's look little bit cool so we are going to again adjustment layer just select curves and make this one little bit darker because your foreground image is too dark okay so and uh, another work is we are going to blur our background image so just click on your background image go to filter and select tilt shift blur effect then just drag it little bit i think this this area is perfect okay so we just blur make it with more blur and give amazing bokeh effect and bokeh color you can also choose the color of the bokeh okay i think it's look perfect then press okay let's take little bit time wow and the another thing we are going to add some extra light so we just click on our background image and take a new layer with a brush and make white and apply this the work is almost done and now the another work we just merge the complete layer in one layer so just press shift control alt plus a so your the whole work is merged in just one layer and now just right click and make this one or convert this one into a smart object so this one is converted into a smart object and just go to filter and camera raw and start your adjustment this one is very simple so first we are going to increase the saturation because blue is my favorite color and i like to provide blue color in my every work and also increase this redness wow massive fire look this one is completed and increase the saturation and go to highlighted area and increase the darker area shadow areas highlighted area increase it and light also increase this one and here is now the part the highlighted area must be yellow and darker area is already black uh, blue so this one is all keep them as like a blue so just again click on fx and make the outer side little bit black okay so this one is done and then press okay so the work is completed and i hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel okay thank you and goodbye